Hello, this is Dex Bracewell, Assistant Director for Wild Drawn Production v Director. And this is my presentation covering what I have done throughout this whole module and our production process. Before I became Assistant Director for this drama, I started my drama module by attempting to present my idea to the others, inspired almost immediately by the confirmation from Chris that our theme would be bad sci-fi, particularly from the 1950s and the 1960s, which gave us a chance to use our sarcasm, and for me especially, tried to choose and use my influences for the production. I gave a written idea to Chris to talk out for me, because even though I was developing it in bits and bobs since October, I was very shy of it, unnecessarily, because I gave a lot of thought into it of how to use these influences and talk about them, but my voice was silent. Anyway, it was heavily influenced by the tacky and unintentionally funny plot and presentation of Plan 9 from Outer Space, with extremely shoddy production values, courtesy of Edward and numerous scientific themes that were often seen in Doctor Who to remain educational, but in my opinion seemed a bit detached from the plot. It used a heavy number of comedic gags, for example, metal plates landing unsuccessfully with an almighty crash. That was basically a spaceship, which although that example is quite cheap sounding, I think the whole idea would work better in the future when they have a slightly higher budget a higher expertise and a flair for this type of content. And another reason why I chose to keep For The Future was because this module was once again like many other modules I've been on at university, extremely fast paced. I didn't have time to develop the idea which Chris recommended to me to do and I liked Chloe's idea right away anyway with some bits to get used to. The idea I had was also made to be set in the 1950s, and to be honest, it works better in the 1950s. It wouldn't have worked at all in the present day unless it used time travel all of a sudden at the end, which I did do, but I didn't really want to move it out of the 50s, and I wanted to move on to other people's ideas. As we chose to set our finished drama in the present day, it was almost as if we knew that our low budget would never cover fashions of this past era. I recorded our first few conversations of Chloe's basic idea of drama and we tried to expand it before we got on with writing it. I didn't record all of our process which I could have done but it did cover our group introduction and discussion for the early days of this idea and the transcript that I also wrote seemed very full. We had to be a bit patient as Chloe's internet had gone down, but she managed to write the basic idea, helpful for me as I uh, can't always pick out speech properly for me to listen to and process like I would have done without my Asperger's, but that's me. So one main bit of discussion on the recording and the transcripts was that I tried out as main scriptwriter and I felt that I took a bit of a risk with it. During our whole pre-production process, the team were clear that Stan wanted the focus to be on this crew member who would become our director, and not on the alien, which I happen to have a world of ideas about. I wanted to write it in my own style for the alien to act human, be quirky with responses to humans, and feel worse concerned with being exposed as an alien. Because after all, it was going to be no problem for the alien as the director's mind would be wiped immediately. But Stan's script satisfied more of us. At first I couldn't understand why. His script had much less lines, less actions and what more dark than I would have liked. Or what even Chloe possibly would have liked. As she said that the drama could be very light hearted and tongue in cheek. And that's exactly what I did, but the whole, whole of it, and what I think I did was also change the dynamics, as if I tested how the rest of the team reacted to it, which was okay, but fortunately I bottled up my feelings, and I threw in away as soon as I read the script more and more towards the filming dates, and I could begin to understand the emotions of the characters. 
making me feel more able to talk to the actors about it. I get what Stan has written and I felt it was good enough. Then there was casting. Whilst I wasn't a producer, I really wanted to be a director for whatever project came out of this uh, module regardless. And even when the producer said I should stay out of the audition process, which I felt a bit offended by, Chris let me go with the producers. I went in order to get ideas for directing and to have a chance to ask any questions about what they could bring to the world. That was my main question and I tried to use it as much as possible. I could say that's the reason why we had Matthew as the alien right away being in the army as he wanted to transfer those thoughts into the alien as his ship gets destroyed. I'm basically fattening myself because that's literally what happened and I'm very pleased about that. I did ask him if uh, he could shave but all of us disagreed that I should have asked that but that's another story. But could I have been producer? Well, there was a problem of calculating budgets and the concept of doing everything, which was uh, too much for my head when what I was focused on was wanting to write and direct. But ages ago, I kept saying to myself, I wanted to be a producer, I wanted to help people make their ideas and make it to a screen. But I enjoyed the audition process, and if I'm honest, I could learn a lot more to become a producer. This is what this course is for, but I feel like I've not realised yet. Practice, 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 and I can use next year for it. So yes, I could have done, but I didn't with my stupid self-confidence. I got to try, I got to really try. Finally, I agreed with Chloe to be assistant director because of all the anxiety I had over directing during our filming practice. For example, I was panicking because I expected directing to be this straightforward role where I can talk to actors constantly and get their views on how they want to portray and maybe have agreements and disagreements. But then I realised that Everyone is expecting me to know how to trap to the corridor. God, it sounds like a stupid French disorders uh, uh, sketch where Dawn French thinks she knows what she is doing, but hilariously doesn't. In this horrid situation for me, that's what I felt like. And there was all this commotion about being unsafe in the corridors. How close do we have to have the trap and dolly to the door? As I didn't really talk much, Serena took over kindly enough, whilst I went outside to take a breather, but I didn't talk to the actors much, except maybe a little bit to try out at the end some amendments to a script, and that's how we got only one good take. It was just far too busy, and as I said about other parts of the module, extremely fast paced. So that buggered me up as main director, but I think it helped me that I was assistant director for this reason to keep practicing just for this once. So for the first day we didn't have a photographer hence why I chose to spend most of the day there recording footage which you can see here. I talked to the actors a bit slowly just because I was a bit shy at first but they got straight to it. But we did have an issue with the sound outside of the room. Chloe asked me to pop outside the room and make sure that people were quiet and that if there was anyone at the door going into a floor that we were on, they were quiet. But I was angry enough, no one came in and no one came out. The other shoots in the office though were much more successful in terms of explaining how to use their emotions. I was with Chloe a bit more as assistant director whilst she was directing herself. It was small bits that I wanted to talk to Wayne about when we were coming towards the scene where he got a lot more drunk. Even if it was a bit too early to say. My memory is a bit thin at this point but I think I might have said you need to look like your eyes look more tired. Although Chloe said that we were not at that point yet. He was detotal and I tried to give him an indicator of what drunk people would usually look like and indeed tiredness is the most obvious thing you see when you drive or walk someone home when they are very drunk and they are still angry, sick or in the mood to dance. I also accompanied our other actor Faye in queuing her in into the office by counting down whilst the main directions were taken care of before. This is my main struggle however as I kept showing myself behind her when walking at her back but this only made me uh, make sure that I didn't do it again every single take. 
When we went on location, however, I did struggle a bit in the dressing room and I walked at Chloe's house. It was as if I was only a passers-by rather than anyone essential to the entire crew or even the cast with the exception of the odd runner job. It was just the fact that I didn't have any ideas was just awful and awkward for me. I was then quite squashed in Chloe's house to a point that I just stood in the back and did nothing or post on Snapchat about our activities. It wasn't it wasn't anyone's fault, but when I got pushed and squashed, I feel like I needed to talk to Chloe briefly about how I felt during this module. I've been struggling through and I lacked in self-confidence. Maybe it was a bad day. In fact, most of my stress came from having to do a speech for running for president of Wildfire Stream Cinema, which I didn't even get. But thank goodness our day in the studio was a lot more productive and I assisted in other roles other than directing. The night before, I agreed that instead of floor managing, I would work as an assistant director and basically act as Chloe's voice as she would be very focused in working in the production truck. I do have some positives so for that day, but I felt like the problem with directing throughout the whole production process as well, with Stan talking to the actors a lot about script. He is a writer, but our roles just seem very blurred and confused, especially on Murder at Studio Day. When I was thinking up some ideas about how to save the lines, which I did rather successfully with Adris, Suzanne and what I already did with Matthew on Audition Day, Stan talked a lot in between shots and takes, so this was very confusing. Anyway, what I did with Adris was talk with him through the scene as he did not to audition with those wives in the first place. He originally auditioned to be the director. Cut! Let's go again from the top! I need more energy from you! You've just realised that it's over! And you're gonna die! Yeah, that was, that was good. good. No problem. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to be so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of freaked out. But I think it might be a problem. <laughs> Amusingly enough, I felt like I set him off practicing his rhymes and do it in a similarly homoerotic and silly way to how the whole male cast members kept acting with each other. But during the takes, he acted as dramatic as they were supposed to have done during their last scene together before the ship get destroyed. So that was one successful bit of my directions. One problem I did have all by myself was that I couldn't convey how to be more careful when hitting a computer. As one take saw a dress hit the girl computer very hard, and the metallic door underneath showing the machine spun open with the tape coming off. And honestly, I couldn't convey how to be more careful as everyone told me that he shouldn't really hit it at all. So I just gave up. When we switched from studio cameras to black magic cameras, Chloe came back in. I think I told Suzanne on how to say her line, and she was rather impressive with them anyway. The main directions were complete, and I instead assisted with other jobs, holding for being normally without it going into shop for once, with some uh, weights that were not needed in the corner of the studio, and becoming a scarecrow. Okay, I was just holding a boom mic and everyone was outside as well. Stan said to me whilst he was recording, Well, just stop yawning. And I responded, Well, I can't when I've been holding this for bloody ages. My favourite moment was during a studio day, and it was said to Chloe at first than it was to me. And when I heard it, I was given a compliment for having some type of poetry when giving directions and how exactly to say the rhymes. I think it was Wayne who gave me a compliment and then everyone else agreed, so I was rather frightened. This is what I was good at and with the directors, I was successful. And I also talked to Faye a while after she came into the studio. All the actors indeed had to wait quite a while for them to take their terms acting, speaking and even coming into the studio when they were needed. But Faye was last, and my support tutor told me that no one seemed to have taught her about anything. So I became a wart and asked her, do you know what you are doing? And talked to her about how to say her wine and how her mood was supposed to be, because her mood was quite complicated with the drama getting cancelled afterwards. And that is where I feel I come fully into the perspective of being assistant director.
what I really need to do next year to feel that I can become a more successful director and producer is to be more able to just get in and get a lot of work done and become a more strong and stable reader. Excuse me, my Theresa May impersonation has just come in. But seriously, be more responsible and confident about myself and the production that I work on. I was actually quite calm throughout some of the process, but I feel like I didn't do all the work that was essential to the experience I want to take on in the future, and I still want to try working with stuff that I am not comfortable with, like budgeting, being responsible for things when it goes wrong. That's one thing which I really do not want to do and have to go through, but unfortunately uh, it has to be the case for some people. But I really do want to do better. And as for my writing, I can try and try again, but I did want to write in my style and that's what I did. However, if I listen to recordings carefully, rather than doing it very recently after it taking place, then I could have been more responsible with my writing and have more confidence to talk with people about the project we were working on together. If I use my recordings much earlier, rather than just transcripting them, I feel like my writing will improve. So that is what I want to do next year, after this year's drama production experience. And that is my presentation for my part in the drama production, the director as the assistant director. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you understand.